Do you remember when we first met? Of course. If you can't handle me at my worst, you don't deserve me at my best. Yes. Like a moth to the flame, your originality consumes... Okay, don't insult me with such a cliche. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> what you actually wrote What's was... so long-winded, I'm surprised you read the whole thing. I never thought that I'd read a dating profile and feel like I've known someone most of my life. How could I pass up meeting someone like that? We actually met before that. What do you mean? Two years ago, Halloween. Abby's party? Mm hmm. Were you the Morton Salt girl? <laughs> I was looking at you the whole night. Uh, I was looking back. You never made a move. I, th I thought you came with somebody. I didn't feel like I had the right opportunity to find out. You make your opportunity. Do you think we'd still be together if I had spoken to you that night? Why wouldn't we be? I had a dream about you the other day. Good or bad? I can't remember. You didn't even look like you, but I knew you were there. Your hands were so detailed. Surreal. Felt less a dream and more like a distant memory. Oh my god. What? Hey, I'm not done with you yet. Your story? <laughs> Shit, no. It doesn't work. Write it anyway. Better to have something rather than agonize over an empty page. You'll make it better later. What? Sounds like something I'd tell you. Maybe you're rubbing off on me. Let me see what you have. Lauren, this is great. Oh, I still don't know how it ends. Back in Chicago, when I was stuck on something, I take a walk. Who walks in a lane? I'm serious. Grab your headphones, put on some music, and just walk. And take it all in. Like a real life music video. The world moving to the melody like, like everything was meant to happen exactly as it's supposed to. Destiny pulsing to the beat, pulling you along for the ride. <laughs> you talk funny. I like that about you. Oh, oh you did. No, 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 <laughs> so, we're going to talk about the three W's, brand, marketing, and opportunities. Where, what, and what. Where do we need to improve? That falls under our brand, because clearly I think we need to. Um, and then we're going to talk about marketing. What demographics are we missing?
Hello? What do you think? They look perfect. No, far from it. No, superficial beauty is a ruse. Perfection lies in our nicks, scrapes, and scars. Our life choices woven together into a beautiful tapestry. Each one unique and yet similar all at once. Then why make the dolls? It's their stories. I give them happiness, and loss, heartbreak, and hope. It's what makes them seem real. Everyone has a story to tell. I just help bring them out. You tell stories too. <laughs> Trying to. You make it sound so easy. Well, most people only see the end result, not the uncertainty and doubt. They prefer the comfort of the crowd. Maybe they're a lot smarter than you or me. But I bet they're not as happy as you, doing what you love. When we're young, our, our dreams seem endless. And with each passing year, those same dreams suppress themselves under the weight of life's demands. As we're prone to do, we adapt. Some are content with what they have. It's not my place to judge people's circumstances. And those who aren't? Content? Well, they must be daring to be great. A lonely road with no guarantees. <clears throat> How did you do it? Your story, what's it about? Love. I'd like to read it. And next time you come back, I'll share one of mine. I'd like that. How's it going? I hate my life and think I should never write again. So, it's progress. <laughs> Your laugh is one of the highlights of my life. Uh, we should finish. What are you stuck on? All of it. Writing listicles for pop culture sites will be the death of me. Well, at least you're getting paid to write. Paid to write about things I don't believe in? I don't want to get sucked into this stupid machine. I, I want to change it. But how can you change it if you stay on the outside? If you really believe in your dreams, like I know you do, you just have to follow them no matter what. At what cost? I'm more than just my dreams, Lauren. I'm not gonna sacrifice my soul just to climb some artificial ladder. My success will be on my own terms. Never compromising gives you the perfect excuse to fail. Okay, that came out wrong, but I'm just, I'm trying no, to, right. I'm just trying to. I should finish this. Evan.
You have a gift, Warren. That much is certain. You write honestly. You know you're capable, and yet... I promised you a story for a story. When you first came here, this was the doll that brought you inside? What's your story? She was an ambitious little girl a long time ago. A princess. One destined to rule and lead her people to great prosperity. What happened? She fell in love. He was a young village boy. His heart pure and true. On dark and starry nights, they would sneak away together. And under that blanket of stars, they bared their souls whispering their secret hopes and dreams, earnestly sharing their devotion to one another as if reciting prayers. Seasons passed and the two lovers grew, their love as strong as ever. But all good things cannot last. One day, the young man became horribly ill and there seemed to be no cure. But the princess was hopeful. It had long been rumored that one could climb the peak of the highest mountain so high that you could touch the stars and make a single wish. Determined to save her lover, the princess made her way up the mountain. And facing the immense sky, she pleaded for her one wish, to heal her lover and keep him alive. But there was no reply. The stars who had witnessed the lovers through the years were moved. And though their magic wasn't meant for humans, they offered their help. They warned the princess, telling her that this came at a price would cost her everything. The princess bravely agreed, and again, the stars were moved. They gently surrounded her, lifting her into the sky. Back in the kingdom, the young man bolted from his bed, healthy as ever before. But something was different. He dropped to all fours and began to run towards the forest, his body rapidly transforming into that of a wolf. Through the shade of the trees, he saw the princess in the night sky floating and instantly knew what had happened. Her wish had been granted. So the princess became the moon her skin pale like porcelain. And on every full moon, that young man, now a lonely wolf, would climb the highest peak of that mountain, crying out for her, howling with longing. That's it? 
do they ever get to be together again? It's a possibility. It's not my decision to make. But you created the story. I gave it a life. I don't like how it ends. The princess made a choice, as we all have to. And she stuck with it, no matter what. How will I know if I make the right choices? You won't. Sometimes you'll be wrong and even worse, sometimes you'll fail. But at the end of the day, it's better to choose something than to spend your days dreaming of things that'll never come. I'm scared. Of what? Becoming the moon? I feel this... pulling inside of me, this yearning for something bigger than myself. A voice hidden inside of me that I can't hold back. I've felt it my entire life. Like, I meant to do more, but doesn't everyone feel this way? Are we all really just satisfied with the world that we've been given? I feel like I'm on the cusp of something big, a, a change, a chance to grasp at the things that I dream for. But it means letting go of things I'm not sure I can let go of. I don't know if I'm strong enough. I can't tell you what your future holds, but I do know that your destiny is laid out for you and the choices that you do make. Everything has a cost. It's up to you to decide which battles are worth fighting. So that's it. Had another dream about you. Good or bad. You had everything you ever wanted. But you didn't seem happy. All I want is to be happy. Can I stay with you tonight?
tonight. Only tonight. Perfection. 